Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we will be in the book of Jonah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible. And it's a very short book, so I will just read the entire thing. Chap four chapters. Chapter 1. Now the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the son of Amittal, saying, Arise, go to Nineveh, that great city, and cry against it, for their wickedness is come up before me. But Jonah rose up to flee unto Tarshish from the presence of the Lord, and went down to Joppa, and he found a ship going to Tarshish. Tar to Tarshish. So he paid the fare thereof and went down into it to go with them to Tarshish from the presence of the Lord. But the Lord sent out a great wind into the sea, and there was a mighty tempest in the sea, so that the ship was like to be broken. Then the mariners were afraid and cried every man unto his God, and cast forth the wares that were in the ship into the sea to lighten it of them. But Jonah was gone down into the sides of the ship, and he lay and was fast asleep. So the shipmaster came to him and said unto him, What meanest thou, O sleeper? Arise, call upon thy God. If so be that God will think upon us, that we perish not. And they said every one to his fellow, Come and let us cast lots that we may know for whose cause this evil is upon us. So they cast lots, and the lot fell upon Jonah. Then they said unto him, Tell us, we pray thee, for whose cause this evil is upon us. What is thine occupation, and whence cometh thou? What is thy country, and of what people art thou? And he said unto them, I am an Hebrew, and I fear the Lord God, the God of heaven which hath made the sea and the dry land. Then were the men exceedingly afraid, and said unto him, Why hast thou done this? For the men knew that he fled from the presence of the Lord, because he had told them. Then said they unto him, What shall we do unto thee, that the sea may be calm unto us? For the sea wrought and was temptuous. And he said unto thee, Take me up and cast me forth into the sea, so shall the sea be calm unto you, for I know that for my sake this great temptus is upon you. Nevertheless the men rode hard to bring it to the land, but they could not, for the sea wrought and was temptuous against them. Therefore they cried unto the Lord and said, We beseech thee, O Lord, we beseech thee, let us not perish for this man's life. And lay not upon us innocent blood, for thou, O Lord, hath done as it pleased thee. So they took jo so they took up Jonah and cast him forth into the sea, and the sea ceased from her raging. Then the men feared the Lord exceedingly, and offered a sacrifice unto the Lord, and made vows. Now the Lord had prepared a great fish to swallow up Jonah, and Jonah was in the belly of the fish three days and three nights. Chapter 2 Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and said, I cries by, cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hadst cast me into the deep, in the midst of the seas, and the floods compassed me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed about me, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with the bars was about me forever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. 
When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and I prayed, came in, and a prayer came into, unto me, into thine holy temple, that they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with a voice of thanksgiving. I will pray that I have vowed salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. And the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time, saying, Arise, go unto Nineveh, that great city, and preach unto it the preaching that I bid thee. So Jonah arose and went unto Nineveh, according to the word of the Lord. Now Nineveh was an exceeding great city of three days' journey. And Jonah began to enter into the city a day's journey. And he cried and said, Set yet forty days, and Nineveh shall be overthrown. So the people of Nineveh believed God and proclaimed a fast and put on sackcloth from the greatest of them even to the least of them. For the word came unto the king of Nineveh, and he arose from his throne, and laid his, laid his robe from him, and covered him with sackcloth, and sat in ashes. And he caused to be proclaimed and published through Nineveh by the decree of the king and his nobles, saying, Let neither man nor beast, herd nor flock, taste anything, let them not feed nor drink water, but let man and beast be covered with sackcloth, and crieth greatly unto God. Yea, let them turn every one from his evil way, and from the violence that is in their hands. Who can tell if God will turn and repent, and turn away from his fierce anger, that we perish not? And God saw their works, that they turned from their evil way. And God repented of the evil that he had said that he would do unto them, and he did it not. But it displeased Jonah exceedingly, he was very angry. And he prayed unto the Lord and said, I pray thee, O Lord, was not this my saying when I was yet in my country? Therefore I fled before unto Tarshish, for I knew that thou art a gracious God and merciful slow to anger and of great kindness, and repenteth thee of the evil. Therefore now, O Lord, take, I beseech thee, my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. Then said the Lord, Dost thou well to be angry? So Jonah went out of the city and sat on the east side of the city, and there made a booth, made him a booth, and sat under it in the shadow till he might see what would become of the city. And the Lord God prepared a gourd, and made it to come up over Jordan, jo Jonah, that it might be a shadow over his head, to deliver him from his grief. So Jonah was exceedingly glad of the gourd. But God prepared a worm when the morning rose the next day, and it smote the gourd that it withered. And it came to pass when the sun did rise, that God prepared a venomous east wind, and the sun beat upon the head of Jonah, that he fainted, and wished in himself to die, and said, It is better for me to die than to live. And God said to Jonah, Doest thou well to be angry for the gourd, he said, and he said, I do well to be angry even unto death. Then the Lord, then said the Lord, Thou hast had pity on the gourd, for that for the which thou hast not labored, neither madeth it grow, which came up in a night and perished in a night. And should not I spare Nineveh, that great city, wherein are more than six score thousand persons that cannot discern between their right hand and their left, and also much cattle? Jonah had pity on the on the gourd, but he couldn't have pity on the people <laughs> or the cattle. <laughs> I love you guys.